And Kristen Crowley, who originally broke the story last night, joins us now. Kristen, what's going to happen to the dog's owner? Well, Jeff, I spoke with Major Tobe Lesenby, who's heading the investigation with Carroll County Sheriff's Department. He says he will file a report with County Prosecutor Tricia Thompson this week. Thompson says once she gets that report and reviews it, she can determine if charges will be filed. Meantime, here's a look at the rescued dogs now. I was at Trisha's doghouse in Lafayette today to check up on them. They've been cleaned up and they are in good spirits. Owner Trisha Davis says their nails were ingrown and injured their paws, but otherwise they're in good condition. A curator of Tippecanoe County's exotic animal sanctuary, Mark Denhart, came to Trisha's to check up on the dogs. He says people who can no longer take care of their pets have options. These are hard times and I know a lot of people are running into problems. Um, <clears throat> taking care of their animals, but you don't have to abandon them. It's not necessary. If we can't personally help them, we can refer them to somebody who can help them with their animals. If you find yourself in a situation where you can no longer take care of your pet, here are some options. Trisha's Doghouse in Lafayette and Delphi and Natalie's Second Chance and Crystal Creek Kennels are all no-kill shelters that you can take your pet to. The Wildcat Wildlife Center and Tippecanoe County Exotic Animal Sanctuary are other no-kill shelters, but they do not take dogs and cats, just wild pets. Now, Davis says her facility takes animals from anywhere, whether you're in Carroll County or Chicago. She just wants to make sure the animals have a safe place to they go. They seem like they're doing better already They do. Today. They're really friendly. They're sweet. They were clean. They look great. Okay, if anybody wants those phone numbers, they can check our website if they weren't able to write them down. Thanks, Kristen. Well, stay